Hey everyone, Kevin here from River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started using jQuery in your projects. So, let's get started. Alright, so here in Dreamweaver, the first step in getting started with jQuery is to create a new HTML document. Now, once you've done that, I'm just going to go over to my desktop and create a new folder to hold all of the files for this website. So I'm just going to type website as the name of this folder. So now this basically simulates where you'd keep all of the files for your website. So in here you'd have your CSS file, you'd have your um, JavaScript stuff, you'd have your HTML files, and anything else you would need. So I'm just going to go back over to Dreamweaver and save this file. Go to my desktop and look for that folder. And then I'm just going to take and save this file, um, the HTML files index. So once I have that, I'm just going to hit save. And so now we should see that file right there in that folder. So now the next step in actually um, getting started with jQuery is to go out and find jQuery. So I'm going to go over to Google Chrome. And you need to go to jQuery.com. So you can either type in jQuery.com or search jQuery on Google. So once you get to this website, there's a couple of things that you um, can do. One is to actually download the jQuery file, or you can link to it somewhere else, uh, such as Google. Now, if you want to actually download the file, you're going to click on this giant button uh, right here. It's going to bring up all of this code, and you're just going to right-click within there and hit Save As to um, save jQuery, and then whatever the current version is, .min. So you can save that and link to it within your HTML. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's one extra step um, that you could possibly mess up. Um, and two, there's a couple of drawbacks. Um, one is that your um, users on your website would have to download this um, from you and instead of somewhere else. Um, and also it doesn't automatically update when the new version comes out. So what I would recommend doing is coming back here, clicking on this download up in the menu at the top. And here you can see that you have Google um, under this CDN hosted jQuery. Now what this allows you to do is basically allow Google to hold your files for you so it holds jQuery. Um, so whenever someone comes to your site they download it from Google instead of downloading it from you so it saves you on bandwidth um, and it should also update when new versions come out. So there's again two options that you can do. You can either click on documentation and it'll take you here and you can um, see all the different things you can get. Um, this is the jQuery library right here and you also have the jQuery um, UI. So you would think that you could just take and copy this script, um, but it's actually missing the HTTPS, so if you decide to do that, make sure and put that in. Um, what I'm going to do is click on this link right here, Google Ajax Libraries API CDN. So I'm just going to click on that, and I'm just going to copy the uh, link that's up here in my browser bar. So making it really simple, just copy that link. We'll go over to Dreamweaver. And up in our head tag, I'm just going to take and make some space. You want to make sure that all of the stuff that has to do with jQuery is above this, this closing head tag. So we want it to be right here. And I'm just going to go to insert, HTML, script objects, and script. So we want to make sure that the type is set to text slash JavaScript. And then the source, I'm just going to take and paste in what we copied from the browser bar. So that um, link to the Google jQuery library. So I'm just going to click OK. And it'll take and paste that into a script tag for us. Um, now, if you're not using Dreamweaver, this is fine. Um, you can take and just type out a script tag with a type of text slash JavaScript and a source of that link. Um, it's just one line, so it's not too hard to do if you don't have Dreamweaver. So the next thing that we want to do is make sure and save this file and then I'm going to click this little refresh button um, or you can hit F5 that's up at the top. So now you should see it says source code and jQuery.min.js right underneath um, where the title of your file is. So if you don't see this it means that you messed the last step up um, and you should take a look at how that's done again. Um, if you do see this and you click on it you should see um, a jumble of code and that is actually jQuery and it's linked correctly. So the next step is to actually create a separate JavaScript file for us to use um, to put in our own custom jQuery. So right now we have the library in one file, but we want to be able to use the library with a separate file so we can keep everything uh, nice and organized. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to create a new JavaScript file, just clicking under blank page JavaScript, Create, and that will create a new JavaScript file. We're going to save that and we're going to be saving it into that folder I created earlier called website and this time I'm just going to call it script um, you can name it whatever you want I just usually call my JavaScript files script and click save so now we have index.html and script.js now we need to link these two together um, because you'll see that we don't have it linked because it's not showing right here in this little bar um, that I showed you earlier 
So I'm just going to go ahead and close that um, script file. And what we can do is take in in our head, um, this one I'm actually going to type out so that for those of you not using Dreamweaver, um, you have the code as well. So I'm just going to start by typing a opening script tag and then I'm just going to do a closing script tag. Now inside of the head script tag, I'm just going to do an attribute of type. So type equals and then two quotes. Inside of those quotes, I'm going to put text slash JavaScript. And then I'm just going to get out of that, hit space, and we're doing another attribute. And it's going to be SRC equals, so it stands for source. And then we need to put a link to our file that we want. Now since we want script.js, and it's in the same file um, or the same folder that uh, our index file is in. If you go back and look at our directory here, these files are in the same thing, so we don't need any paths. Um, it's just going to be simply the name of the file. So I'm just going to say script.js. So now we can save that, refresh this, and script.js shows up up here, so we've linked that correctly. Um, so now we can take and go over here, get rid of this default code comment, and we can get started actually using jQuery. Now, the first thing you need to do when writing jQuery um, is to check and see if the document's ready, if jQuery has been loaded, um, if everything's working correctly. So um, before we do that, I just wanted to mention, um, I was very careful to take and put the jQuery library in our HTML file before we took and put um, our separate file. So you want to make sure that you load jQuery first and then you have your own jQuery file underneath that because if you have these out of order, say if this one was above this one, then jQuery wouldn't work and you wouldn't know why. Um, so you want to make sure that you have those in that order. So back over into our script file, what we need to do is check and see if everything's ready. So in order to do that, we want to say dollar sign, open close parentheses, and real quick, I'm just going to take and bump up the font size so that we can see this a little bit better. So um, we're just going to take and say dollar sign open close parentheses and we're going to be targeting an HTML object and in this case it's going to be the entire document. So we're going to see if the document is ready. So inside of those parentheses I'm going to say document and then I'm going to say outside of that dot ready. So this is going to be a function. So we have document.ready, so it's checking to see if the document is ready. So inside of the parentheses of this ready, we're going to say function, open close parenthesis, open curly bracket, hit enter twice, and then put a close curly bracket, and then at the very end of this third line here, I'm going to put a semicolon. So as long as you don't see any syntax errors, which would be denoted by something red, so let me just cause one of those so you can see what that looks like. Um, if you don't see any of this, uh, then you have that probably correct. So I'm just going to save that. So now what we need to do um, is type basically anything inside of here that we want to happen. Um, so you want to make sure that you always have anything you want to happen inside of this document ready. So for here until the future, everything that you do for jQuery is going to be inside of this tag uh, because you want to make sure that the document is ready before you do anything. So uh, once you have that done, what you want to do is test and make sure that everything is working correctly. So if you've done everything right up to this point, you can type alert open close parenthesis and a semicolon and then inside of the parentheses two quotes and then inside of those just type hello. Now if everything has been done correctly then your browser should pop up a little pop-up um, that will say hello to you. So I'm just going to go back to the HTML part of this preview this in Chrome. I'll pull up Chrome and you can see we have a JavaScript alert saying hello. So everything is working correctly here. Our jQuery is linked up. And so now we are free to take and delete this alert out and put a lot of other fun uh, JavaScript stuff within this. So um, this is it for this tutorial. Um, I am going to be doing obviously more stuff um, inside of this in future tutorials, but I wanted to make sure and show you guys how to link to jQuery because from here out, um, I won't be actually showing that in my video. So I'll be referring to this video um, showing you how to get the document ready, how to actually link to these um, these libraries uh, online and setting up your own file. So um, I want to thank you guys. You guys actually picked jQuery as the next thing that I do my tutorial on. I had a poll on my Facebook page um, at facebook.com slash graphics asking you what um, you would like to see me do more tutorials on and jQuery was the one that you picked so thanks for recommending that um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment because I do have a new video coming out every week so thanks and I'll see you in the next video.